Okay guys, what's cooking today? So I'm gonna make sambar today with some brinjal sabzi. So now I have my tur dal, uh, four whistles. And uh, firstly, I'll just make sure I saute some lady finger in oil because it loses its, you know, that sticky thing. So I don't want that. So I'll do that first and then boil all of these vegetables together. So I'll keep you posted on that. And yes, four whistles for the dal. I'll just make sure they are, you know, cooked and fried a little. That's it. And once it's done, I let them cool down a bit. And then add water and let my other vegetables boil. So I've added my other vegetables. That's uh, red pumpkin, uh, brinjal and potatoes. I've added to that. I'll just saute it with some haldi powder. So now that you know, it's mixed well with the oil, I'm just going to add water in here so that you know it cooks perfectly. Yeah. So now what we'll do is we'll just let this cook for a while till... Uh, you know the vegetables become soft enough now the vegetables in here they take different time like you say aloo hai wo thoda zyada time lega the eggplant uh, or the brinjal will you know cook relatively faster so we'll just have to keep a check on that and the next important step here is to have your tamarind paste and your sambar powder now these are two hacks that i'm using you can also use fresh tamarind and you know uh, put it in water soak the tamarind water out of it and also have uh, you know you can grind your own sambar powder but for beginners like me i prefer to use these so now meanwhile what i'm going to do is i uh, have this tamarind paste mix this in water have a small paste ready and same here using three fourth of this packet here and i'll mix this in water so that both of these uh, mixes will go in this and uh, you know we'll have the other spices go in as well so the vegetables here are boiling pretty well. My dal's almost cooled. I'll take them out in a while. Um, the other thing is, like I told you, the sambar powder. I've mixed it in water and kept this paste ready. And so is my tamarind water ready. So I'll just wait for it to, you know, cook well. And then the dal goes in. The mixes go in salt and yeah i've added a little bit of chili powder because you know those friends of mine who have been eating my sambar and my mom's sambar know that we prefer real spicy sambar so uh, one spoon of uh, you know chili powder in as well so we are the ones who make those spicy sambars and our sambars are not really sweet um so yeah let's see how this turns out to be uh, so this dal is ready what i'm gonna do is use the same um spoon and just smash it up wow this looks cooked to the tea so um, once this is done man it looks so good the sound trust me I'm just gonna have a quick check on the veggies and then once you have your prep done life is pretty much easy you just have to follow the steps and you'll be sorted now the vegetables are almost there say 70% cooked so the water also have almost evaporated so like I said the dal here i just smashed it and in goes the dal so i'll just add some water in here and you know improve the consistency so the last thing you would do is add the tamarind paste once you add the tamarind paste you leave very less scope for the vegetables to cook so that would be the last thing that i would do um so i'll just allow the dal to cook for a while and then add my sambar powder so now you see the color it's very bright but the sooner this goes in boom it's 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 gonna reach another level so the dal looks good it's blended well with the vegetables i've added a little bit of water so the next step as i told you was to add the sambar mix so the spoon you better rest here okay so now like i told you the complete dynamics changes so i'll add some more water in here because you see this too much left in but give this a quick stir so i know how much water do i need to add and you know fix the consistency so there you go so the colors become more vibrant and let this cook for a while because you know you don't really want that kacha flavor of your masala so let this cook for a while and then i'll add the tamarind water meanwhile i've just prepped some more eggplants for the separate bhaji that i plan to make so yeah, too much cooking today. It's come to a boil, last but not the least, my tamarind water. So now I've not added salt. 
okay so uh, uh, once we are done with this we give this a boil add water only then we'll add salt and then just end it with a fork knee that's it so let's just let this cook time to show some patience so i've reduced the flame i'm just going to let it cook i've added a little bit of water so time for the salt to go in so i'm just going to go step by step and you know add little by little and maybe you know taste and see how it works because i don't make this very often so uh, till i get you know the right taste i'm looking out for i'll just add salt so yeah guys added salt so this is the last boil that i'm giving and i'm just going to shut this out um time for the fourni so the main thing here is you will use coconut oil because you know that gives that additional taste without that you know your sambar would be incomplete so um this is again going to be a very simple uh, one what's going to go next is the rice curry leaves lots of them just let them simmer whoa 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 or stem now uh, the reason being the curry leaves were washed so because of the water you get this platter thing so turn off the gas let them have a quick boil in the oil and all we're going to do is just add it to our sambar so um this is something that my mom has guided me like i kind of just have a quick overview of what i need to make and i keep running out to her asking okay i've done this i've done this what next so i kind of just having you know like having control in the kitchen okay now this is tough to do it single handedly but all right guys woohoo all done all done so just one quick garnish after some time i'll add uh, you know the coriander leaves to it but not immediately so now because of the coconut oil it has its own taste right so there'll be a huge difference in taste so just don't add salt immediately just give it some time for things to mix out and then give it one last taste and you can add things as per your you know uh, taste now here like i said we've used too much of sambar powder because we like it spicy you can just keep it the way you like and use it accordingly all right guys sambar ready